the poem is called On Which Our Small State Does Not Appear. That first year, we rented an apartment in Fox Point, and our sons turned two. A month later, the day their sister turned one, I watched her bounce on an inflatable globe of our world, on which, upon further examination, our small state did not appear. It was July, so humid that birthday morning sweat already dripped into my eyes only minutes after a shower. And I remember thinking of small, unseen states of grace, two-year-old twin sons, a daughter turning one, her body wrapped around her buoyant world, making iced coffee for their mother, showering upstairs, herself about to step into the soft, wet air we call Rhode Island summer. Thinking how lucky we were to be in this small state, and apparently even to some map makers, unremarkable, unremarked upon state. Even now, they say, about the size of Rhode Island, meaning a county or city elsewhere in the country the size of a whole state, or a place so small it can almost, by some people at least, among them map and globe makers, be missed. Feeling even then so alive and, a luck and lucky to be in this state of firsts, most tolerant of original colonies, First Baptist Church, 1638, First Synagogue built in America, 1763, First Jail Sentence for Speeding in an Automobile, 1904, 15 miles an hour, in Newport, by the way. First, some might say, Most Sustained Circus, 1774. 2014, I'm sorry, 2015, our first woman governor. The big, top, the big top of our state's house is home to the statue called Hope, also known as the Independent Man, model for such an idea being near at hand. The man Jefferson and Adams said informed the First Amendment Roger Williams standing tall for free speech and religion long before others did. Thinking again of the globe on which this more enlightened state appears. State house housing now an independent woman. How long some things take, some states of grace. A woman leading the way for once. How, as our new governor says, what isn't already here we will have to map and make ourselves. This place we most want to live and love in, making new room and space, even among founding fathers, for a state just small enough for big changes to begin. <laughs>